What's up, YouTube? Simply unluckier. And last time we had the first edition Duelist Genesis booster packs, and now it's time for the first edition Crossroads of Chaos with the 2008 Turbo Warrior tin opening with not one, but two Turbo Warrior tin openings. So I'm super excited for this, you guys. And then I want to ask you to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And please, you guys, remember to give this video a like or a dislike and comment with your experience with the first edition Crossroads of Chaos. And let's get started. So, another awesome set with Crossroads of Chaos. And these packs are also worth a ton. The first edition packs only came in tins. And, uh, oh, thanks to our friends at Ultra, we have the Gurren Lagann play mats. And, uh, yes. We'll be using, ooh, orange sleeves today for our foils, but we we'll use some green for the Turbo Warriors. And we did pull a Turbo Warrior um, in our box, which was pretty funny. And we pulled the Turbo Synchron to go with. We got him Ultimate Rare, so that was funny. It's Turbo time. What's that from? It's from something. <laughs> okay, so these are first edition, thankfully. First edition uh, bl uh, cross. Say so Black Rose Dragon Packs. Man, if we pull Black Rose. Uh, first edition Crossroads of Chaos. And then we got one Duelist Genesis, Light of Destruction, and Phantom Darkness. Dude, these are good packs. Good tints. Very nice. And for our token pack, should be uh, the similar same set as the uh, other 2008 tin we opened. Whoops. Let's see what we get. Double Dude. Same ones as the other tins. Okay. All right. So... We have five packs here. We'll do one ten at a time, just like last time. Okay, I don't know if we can beat the freaking Duelist Genesis first edition pack opening or the Montage Dragon Tins, you guys. Out of five packs, we pulled five foils. Um, four foils from Duelist Genesis. Absolutely incredible. But let's see, even if we can't get four foils from Crossroads Castle, maybe, just maybe, we can get one of those bomb cards. Maybe, just maybe, Black Rose. Uh, Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, there's a lot of cool cards, especially to pull in first edition in here. Here we go. Ooh, uh, spellcasters in the trees. <laughs> uh, we'll do we'll do dual, duels Genesis first because I'm feeling so much fire with this pack right now. Why not why not keep it moving? So five packs. You guys were hoping for at least one foil, but just maybe. Like last time we saw, two or three would be two is insane. Three is godly. Here we go. Tricky spell. Psychic commander. Doctor Cranium. And he's a naggy. Nice. Starting off with a super rare card. That is awesome. He's actually not a spirit, but he's works with the spirit monsters. Thought that was interesting. I feel like he should still should have been a spirit. Maybe that would have made him too good. I don't know. He's a naggy. Uh, Maiden of Macabre. Very cool. Silent Strider, Slight Wave Tuning, Kunoichi, and Telepathic Power. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve up our first foil here. Starting off strong. Maybe we're going to pull more than five foils out of ten packs. Who knows? All right, Light Destruction. Then the Phantom Darkness. And it's time for the Chaos. The Fortunate the fortune of the D. Microcell, Wetlands, Summon Limit, Battery Man, Industrial Strength. Actually a pretty rare card. Or a pretty good card for our, the Battery Man decks. And Jane, the Light Sworn Paladin. Arcana Calm. The Force. Arcana Force, the Emperor. Awesome guy. And Rainbow Gravity. Got a rare there. Awesome. Light of Destruction booster packs. And now it's time for the Phantom Darkness. We've seen the light. Now let's see the dark. Here we go. Blue Thunder T45. Again, a very awesome common card. Obsidian Dragon was used well with Honest from the previous set. Mirage Tube. Regenerating Rose. There's the token card. Uh, Metabo Globster. And Galarabee's Andal with his rainbow shield. Doing work in the booster box battle. Vicious Claw. Gladiator Pro Proving Grounds. And Destiny Hero Departed. Always like that guy's picture. Very cool. Alright. So here we are. Down to the crossroads of chaos. Can we at least get one foil out of these? That would be pretty dang epic. Here we go. Heart of the cards guide us. Yugi boy. Dun 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 dun. Da dun da dun dun da dun, dun. Card rotator. Goblin decoy squad. And these are first edition Crossroads of Chaos uh, packs. I actually, it's 
seriously, the last time I think I opened this was for a video for Simple and Lucky. Because I know we've opened uh, uh, Turbo Warrior on here already, Turbo Warrior 10. But it's seriously been probably the last time I opened one of those, which is probably 2008, 2009, maybe 2010. But either way. Bamboo Scrap, Nettles, and Trap of Imperial Tomb, and Honey Wow! Wow, we got a foil card! Wow! What is happening? Honey Wada, you can discard this card to make any effect damage this turn zero. Can be activated during either player's turn. Now that I think about it, I think we opened a Turbo Warrior not too long ago. Within the past few years. But either way, it's still been a while. First edition Crossroads of Chaos. I guess I should have said that for Duelist Genesis too. First edition, super rare. Two foils so far. The Insanity is real. Psychic Jumper, Doc Bull Ganger, and Morphotronic Magnet. Very cool. And we also got the Tomb, the Imperial Tomb. Okay, we'll go ahead and sleeve up our Haniwata. And that is, oh, it's also a tuner, by the way, too. So, so two foils so far. We got one foil out of Crossroads of Chaos. Can we get another? Man, if we get four foils again, these tins are stacked. A Lineage of Destruction. Ever Living Underworld Cannon, Pursuit Chaser, Synchro Strike, Cactus Fighter, and then oh baby, a first edition Ultimate Rare Rose Warrior of Revenge. What is going on? What is going on, man? The fire. And she's a fire attribute. I don't even know if I've ever pulled the first edition Ultimate Rare Rose Warrior before. Oh freaking baby. Yeah! Wow! What is happening? The godliness! They have blessed us with these packs. Fragrance Storm, Confusion Shaft, Omega Goggles. Holy guacamole! Let's sleeve it up. Let's sleeve it up. Rose Warrior of Revenge Ultimate Rare First Edition. Oh, baby! Beautiful. Beautiful card there. When is the last time you saw one of those get pulled? Jeez. All right. So there's our first 10. Three foils out of five packs. The godliness is real. We have another Turbo Warrior 10 here, guys. It's not over. It never ends. What is going on? Ultimate rare. Ultra rare card. Here's our Turbo Warrior. 2008 10 here. Set him to the side. Let's get out those beautiful packs here. I don't know what's going on, but we are on fire for foils from these first edition packs. If we can at least, if we get one more, that is, that'll be too cool. And for our tokens for this tin, maybe get something a little different this time. I believe there's like five to eight tokens. And nope. Oh, not this time. But if you want a Free admission to a tournament that expired in 2009. Now's your chance. Just got to go back in time. Find yourself a time machine. You know, you see them you every now and then on the street corner. Somebody's selling one. Okay, you guys. Here we go. Two Turbo Warriors. Three Super... Two Supers and an Ultimate Ultra. I am too excited. All right. Duelist Genesis. Start strong, baby. Here we go. Space Gate. Ghost Gardener, Noisy Nats, Sword of Kusanagi, Herald of Orange Lights. Oh, nice rare though. And Herald of Orange Light is also a tuner. I don't know if I mentioned that in the Booster Box battle. So some good information there. I love how the uh, Duelist Genesis pack in here is though is non-first just because, just to make it harder to get. Can't believe they only printed first edition packs in tens. That is, that blows my mind. Jump Barrage, Beast of the Pharaoh, a Light Wave Tuning, and Dark, the Dark Charmer. Awesome. Herald of Orange Light. All right, you guys. Uh, let's go Light of Destruction. Here we go. Okay. Miracle Flipper again. The Formation of the D. Cross Porter. Sanguine Swamp. Flame Ignis Sprite Spirit. Tour of Doom. I like that picture. Awesome. Demise of the Land. Arcana Force, the Emperor, and Quick Charge. Okay. 
It's time. We've gone through the light. It's time for the dock. Here we go. Can we get a foil from the Phantom Darkness? Black Velocity, Immortal Bushi, all out of tag. Start World Grimroar, uh, Metabo Globster again, Glider Be Proving Ground, Departed, Transmigration Break, and Sinister Seeds. One of the token cards. Another Destiny Hero Departed. Awesome guy there. And last but not least, two more crossovers of Chaos Packs. If we seriously get two foils, that would be eight foils out of eight of the first edition packs. Pure insanity. Um, but let's see what happens. Can we at least get one? That would be pretty cool. And just maybe, just maybe, a Black Rose. Give it to us. Kaiba! Believe in the heart of the cards, you guys. Factory of 100 Machines. Wall of Ivy. Plant Food Chain. Poison Chain. The One World Tree. All right, all right. The instant the godliness is slowed down a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. It just it's bringing up the hype for that last pack of destiny. Morphotronic Datatron goes in match first edition trap. Nice. Uh, Morphotronic Cord and Botanical Girl. Botanical Girl. Very cool. Those first edition Crossroads Chaos rares chilling over there. And now it's time for the final pack of destiny. Believe you guys. Can we get three foils from Crossroads of Chaos? Power Injector, Morphotronic Monotron, Psychic Jumper, Factory of 100 Machines again, Prideful Roar, and an Ultra Rare! <laughs> wow! It could have been a Black Rust. Scene of Flame, dude! Oh, these tricky cards here, man. We gotta get some more of these. What is going on? I love these packs. Seven foils out of eight packs. That's incredible. Seed of Flame, Ultra Rare, First Edition. Three star plant. When this card you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the grave, you can special summon level four or lower plant type monster uh, from your grave. Also, special summon a seed token to your opponent's side of the field. Very cool. Seed of the Flame, Secret Strike, Lineage of Destruction, and Copy Plant, First Edition. And before we do a recap, I wanted to give a shout out to Dave and Adams Carvel. I'll put a link at the top of the description below so you guys please check them out. They got a ton of awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! product and singles. Alright, so for our recap, we have, looks like four rares here from the first edition Crossroads of Chaos Packs. Prideful Roar, a Trap of the Imperial Tomb, a Wonder Tree, and Cactus Fighter. Very nice. And then... Four foils out of ten packs. That's pretty That's pretty dang insane. It's actually kind of six foils, but still. Uh, pretty good. And so from Duelist Genesis, we have a Super Rare Izanagi. And then from the first edition Crossroads of Chaos Packs, we had a Super Rare Hanewata, a Ultra Rare Seed of Flame, and an Ultimate Rare Rose, Warrior of Revenge. Oh, baby. What an awesome opening. That is so... That's crazy. Seven foils out of those eight first edition packs for these ten openings. Once again, YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to give this video a like or a dislike, and a comment with your experience from the first edition Crossroads of Chaos, and simply unlucky signing out.